Hey there, good morning. Uh, Brad with ATC. We're out in Glamis. ATC, we're doing this new program where we're bringing, we're coming out and camping with you. I've been in this industry for 23 years and there's been other manufacturers that have come out with tankless water heaters. My product manager said it, we went with this new brand. It's really good. We've gotten good reviews and try it out. And I'm gonna tell you that I highly recommend this, this unit here. Uh, we've been camping in this. I'd probably tell you a total of the 20 nights. And it's what they call a tankless water heater or on demand. First of all, I'm coming out here and we're gonna show you this. You don't ever have to do anything out here. I'm just kind of showing you so you can see what it looks like. It takes up a very small footprint because it is tankless. Uh, there's no big tank. Um, I also like it for the fact that you do not have, to, it's really good on propane use because it's on demand. So if somebody operates the shower, somebody operates the inside faucet, it's gonna turn on, it's gonna give you that hot water for what you needed and it's gonna turn right back off again. So it's not heating a tank on reserve. You may have a 10 gallon water heater and you're just heating it in case you use it, but you may never. And so you just burned all that propane and you had all that footprint and taking up cabinet space underneath for no reason. So for that, I recommend this. We've had nothing but positive reviews. I put it in our unit, highly recommend it. What I love about it is it could be a cold morning. It's, you know, might drop down into the 20s or 30s at night. You get up in the morning, you want hot water. And with a traditional 10 gallon water heater, if you turn it on, it will take you a long time to get that hot water through the water heater into your unit. This is different. This is on demand. It happens right now and it's excellent. But for out here, there's an on and off switch. Your selling dealer, basically, when they PDI your coach, you're gonna go to on, and you're gonna never come back out here again. I'm just showing you this, just so that we had, you can kind of see the unit. But inside is where all the function and, uh, and the operation will be. So we talked about the two places to turn on the water heater, and there's the one we showed you in the bathroom, and there's also on the Firefly, on your home screen, we're gonna get into Firefly. We're gonna give you a little um, information on that and how to operate in the different screens. But for right now, if you're on the home screen, you're gonna see an icon that says, right here it says gas water heater. And you, if you touch that, if it's gray, it's off. You touch it again, blue, it's on. That's how you're gonna turn it on. Now, if somebody turns this off and then you come back and turn it on, you're still going to have to come into the hallway here and you're gonna have to turn this switch because what it's done is it's reset. So if you come up here, I'll show you that there's no light on. So you're gonna need an amber light. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this middle setting to off, turn it to off and wait a couple seconds and then you're gonna turn it to on. When you turn it to on, when this amber light's on, you have hot water. But if somebody's hit the switch in the bathroom by accident, or they've hit the switch on the Firefly, you're gonna have to come into this cabinet, turn it off and turn it back on. Hopefully that helps.